Right, in the last few minutes, we had breaking news involving Mohamed Salah. If you didn't hear it, here it is again, Dharma Sheth. Yeah, you remember last week the Egyptian Football Federation said that he would miss two games after he was substituted with what was described as a strain in his posterior muscle in that 2-2 draw with Ghana just before half-time. Well, it might be worse than that, actually, because Mohamed Salah's agent, Rami Abbas, has just posted this on X. He said, Mohamed's injury is more serious than first thought. And he will be out for 21 to 28 days, not just for two games. His best chance of participating in the current AFCON is by undergoing intensive rehab in the UK and rejoining the team as soon as he is fit. Now, we have contacted Liverpool for a response to um, Salah's agent's post on X and we're awaiting a response to see if they can back up the prognosis that uh, Rami Abbas has given on his client, Mohamed Salah. Yeah, that's big news. Jody. so if Egypt get knocked out, Salah would miss the Premier League game against Arsenal at the Emirates, Feb 4th, I think. How big a blow is that for, for Liverpool, given how impressive they were last night? Um, I think whenever you miss a player of the calibre of Mohamed Salah, um, you're always going to miss him. But I, I think you're right, Mike, in the fact that um, Liverpool performed at such a high level um, without him, albeit uh, obviously not for a long time. Um, they would like to think that they can still get over the line. I think Jurgen Klopp's been quoted quite a few times saying that um, he believes that they can, uh, they've dealt with it before, um, whether it be injury or whether him going off again to an, another tournament. But you'd always want your best players available and obviously... Mo Salah comes under that category. So I think it will be a huge miss. But you have to say at the moment, Liverpool as a whole and a, and a squad are performing at a really high level. And isn't that the point, Mark? I mean, of all clubs, given Liverpool's firepower, they, better than anyone, could probably cope with missing one of the world's best strikers. Well, I was at the Vitality yesterday to watch the game against Bournemouth. And uh, you'd almost say that the scoreline flattered Liverpool a little bit, particularly in that first half. They weren't as effective, but there was a tweet from Jurgen Klopp and he has got that strength in depth when it comes to the front three and they can move into different positions. And that's exactly what he did. Move Nunez, move Jota, and that created some gaps. And then, of course, they exploited it in the second half. And you'd have to say, on the back of that performance they look like a side that could cope without Mo Salah. The problem that they've got is that that was against the Bournemouth side who are in the bottom half of the table. And when they start going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best teams in the Premier League, that's when they're going to really need that quality and that instinct and that natural ability and that, that X factor that he brings. Because if they want to go on and win the title, they cannot afford to drop too many points because we know that Manchester City will get stronger. We know that Aston Villa look good and Arsenal are going to be there or thereabouts. So this is a title race that's going to go right to the wire, potentially with three, maybe even four sides. And Liverpool, whilst they're very much in the mix, this is an interesting development that could really impact the title because if he can get back, we know that potentially now he won't play for Egypt. That could be massive for Jurgen Klopp. Don't forget, though, Bournemouth, one of the form teams in the Premier League. That was some result.